Yesterday, I asked you, what does be a Klondike even mean? I feel like there's some confusion, and I want to explain to you guys after, but first, I want to hear your thoughts. Saying thanks to the bus driver? Nah, fam. Thanking the bus driver twice. Now that's where it's at. Oh, nice. This guy wrote a whole list. Being a Klondike is integrity, self-confidence, trust, honor, introspectiveness. Probably just a name without a definitive definition. You are so wrong! You're so wrong! Be a Klondike means booty crunching and creeper hunting. I hate internet speak. Ooh, this guy's kind of close. Being a Klondike means not liking your own comments to increase your chances of getting on Yai. Yeah, kind of. You're getting warmer. Two broke college kids who wanted stylish watches but couldn't afford, no. But I like what you did there. Oh wow, we have two separate people who quoted verbatim the entire first commercial for Be a Klondike. Like word for word, you just typed out the entire script. Thanks. It means siding with Aaron when the divorce happens. Yikes. Y'all are evil. Being into animals? I don't know. No, it's not that. Be a Klondike is a term used by the furry community to communicate. No, that's not that. Nope. Nope. You are wrong. That is that is not it. But great art though. Wouldn't Klondom have been a better pun? It it would have. You're right. You're this is in reference to the previous video. You're absolutely right, but we don't have time to address this. We have to move on. Be a Klondike means proving there's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. Written by Africa by Toto only. <laughs> that never not makes me laugh. I don't know, mate. Oh, cool. Another list. Be a Klondike means to be grateful. Use kind words. Yes, you can do it. You should believe. Clapping when the plane lands. Oh, that's absolutely a Klondike thing to do. Being someone who exploits their dogs on YouTube to earn subs, likes, etc. So basically, Jenna. Hey! Hey, that's right. Got him. Buy my merch, it has dogs. When you're a Klondike, you participate in every yai without expecting to be featured. So true. It's an honor just to comment. To be a Klondike, you must be a fluffy boy and always use hike. Wh what? What? Way too many syllables. 23 people like that? That's not even a proper haiku. Boo! So this one just says Klon hike. It's a good Photoshop, don't get me wrong, it just doesn't answer the question. Not even a little bit. And this one definitely doesn't answer the question. It, if anything, I have more questions. For starters, why? The Klondike is a region of the Yukon Territory in Northwest Canada. Shut up! And finally, being a Klondike for me isn't Oh no, that's way too long, I ain't reading that. Be a Klondike. Don't be a Klondike. Beautiful, succinctly put. Let's mix it up a bit. What does it mean to be a Klondike to you, Jack? Oh, I'm glad you asked. So I'm worried about this culture that glorifies flexing and being savage. And I'm really worried because kids see it and they see YouTubers doing it and the kids think, oh, that's cool, and they mimic it. And that terrifies me. So I thought, what happened to being nice? You know, being kind, is that no longer cool? And then I look over at my dog Klondike, who's just this perfect, loving little creature. And I go, perfect, that is what we should aspire to be. So when you hear be a Klondike, it really just means be good. Don't be savage. Yeah, like... And hey, it's a great time to be a Klondike because we've now got tanks just in time for summer. And all of these colors. Stay cool, stay Klondike. Also, we now have enamel pins. These guys were selling like hotcakes at VidCon. So get yours today. Get everything right now over at beaklondike.com or just click the link in the description below. Be a Klondike. Oh, I have a challenge for you. It's time to let me fix your art too. So send me your art of anything, absolutely anything, and I will try to fix you. Use the hashtag YaiArt on Twitter so I can find you. Leave your answers in the comments below. I'll pick my favorites in the next episode of Yai. Please subscribe for more Klondike. Also, click right here to see the previous guy episode. Uh, here's a clip. What would a JackCon consist of? A very, very empty room. Oh, you mean like this one? I hate when you turn your answers into real life. Prosthetic foreheads. Oh, you mean like this? This even looks flimsy. Well done.